Hi everyone. So this is the view that I see when I look uh, back uh, towards the back of my Prado. I have a K on barrier and a uh, net that I hang up on the roof to put jackets and uh, pillows, etc. Obviously, it blocks my uh, rear view uh, vision uh, from the mirror. So, uh, in order to, to solve this problem, I had to uh, basically get a, a camera that allows me to, you know, uh, see through the back. Uh, if you search eBay or Amazon on uh, mirror dash cam, you probably find hundreds of them, and most of them uh, would have the camera that's sort of attached uh, to the back of the screen. And I, I figured that's not gonna be very good because you can't really adjust the angle of the camera. Uh, that's when I came across this particular uh, model, which I really, really like because the cameras are all sort of uh, separate to the screen. So that pretty much allows you to um, place the camera, you know, in a very optimal spot, um, and it, it it doesn't matter what, where what the angle of the screen is. So the camera is the Pomido PR998. Um, I put a link in the description or below the video that you can directly see it uh, on Amazon. That's where I bought mine. I only purchased the camera originally, but uh, when I bought it, uh, Pomido contacted me and offered me a free gift. So I selected the hardwire kit, which is shown here. And I also end up purchasing the GPS unit as well. I think they're about twenty dollars each. Um, so I'm not gonna do a full unboxing here, but it's, this is just a rough uh, idea of what you get in the box. Uh, so this is the actual uh, screen itself that you snap onto the uh, rear view mirror of your car. Uh, you can see there's no camera here. that you attach uh, separately onto your front windscreen. This is the rear camera. And this is the uh, GPS unit that I purchased separately. They're about $20. These are the elastic straps that hold the uh, screen to your rear view mirror. power cable that you uh, plug into your cigarette lighter but um, I have the hard wire kit so I'm not gonna use this wire that blue screwdriver that's in the box doesn't actually come with the camera it's just my screwdriver that I threw in there so you don't get that uh, from the kit it also comes with a 32 gig uh, SD card, but I bought uh, another 128 gig. It comes with a 10 meter cable that connects the rear camera to the unit. I've decided to put it inside some slit tubing here uh, before I'm gonna install it into the car. On the Prado, the door opens outwards, um, so I decided to run that cable uh, on the driver's side just uh, near the doors and out through the factory grommet there and un underneath all these things um, to make it, you know, to give it a really neat installation. Uh, some people inst install it through their roof line but my car's got a sunroof so that's not gonna work for me. So after I got the cable through the grommet, I ran it along uh, with the factory wiring and through the door, through the back of the door. So this is where the camera will be attached. Uh, once the trim goes back on, you can't really see the cable anymore.
front of the car I had to remove some uh, plastic trim to make it easier to hook up the, all the wiring. Uh, remove this side piece here, um, remove this piece here, and remove this piece here. There, there's a screw that you just take out and it just, it just pulls out um, and it's pretty easy. I bought these uh, micro blade fuse tabs to allow me to connect up the hardware kit. I only needed one fuse tab uh, because there was a spare blank space in the fuse box that allowed me to hook up a, a constant 12 volt. The fuse tab was used for the accessory line. This is the fuse panel cover that you can no longer put back on once you use the fuse tab. Um, I, that blank space there is the constant 12 volt and I use the uh, washer um, fuse for the accessory line. To hide all the cables at the front I basically just tuck the into the roof uh, cavity uh, at the front there's a small gap you just push all the wires in and then I ran it uh, basically down this uh, A pillar and to remove the A pillar it's pretty straightforward as well but here be very careful that you stay well away from the curtain airbag mechanism so you run the wire you know along the, with the factory wiring well away from the airbags because you don't want to interfere with the airbags. That would be very bad. The hardware kit comes with a control box that you can set uh, the voltage uh, where it will cut out. So basically there's three settings. Um, high, medium and low and that's basically just detects the voltage of your car battery and disconnects the camera so it doesn't drain the batteries. This is used uh, for recording when your car is parked and it basically detects motion and starts the recording um, when your car is basically not running. Uh, this is where I have the GPS unit. With the screen off, you can sort of use it like a mirror, but um, you know sometimes you need to see kids or whatever at the back, so it's best to use the uh, uh, sort of sunglass mirror there. You know your sunglasses can still go there, but uh, use that mirror to check on the kids if, if you have kids at the back, because you know, obviously you can't see them through the screen anymore. The screen is very bright and sharp. Obviously, it's not going to show you the, your full HD view, so it, you can scroll up and down uh, depending on which sort of angle you want to look at. You can very quickly switch to the front view, which is kind of pointless, or like a split view, so you can see the back and the front camera at the same time then switch back to the back view. Scrolling left or right will adjust the screen brightness. And to access the settings, you have to actually stop the recording. On the screen, if you have the GPS unit, it shows you your direction and speed. And on the right hand side, it has the time. Now, even if my boot is fully loaded, um, it still does not obstruct my rear view uh, vision. 
because I can see it very clearly through the screen from the camera. Here's some actual footage taken from the uh, camera. It's showing the, uh, the front view and the rear view uh, at the same time. In this footage I didn't plug in the GPS unit so it, it didn't have the GPS coordinates or speed in, in the timestamp. Here's some footage captured at night with the GPS unit plugged in. You can clearly see the GPS coordinates and speed. The cameras have a Sony sensor and they perform very good in low light. Uh, at night the, um, the screen actually is quite uh, visible. Uh, the lights of the cars uh, from behind shining and it doesn't really wash out the camera and you can clearly see uh, number plates uh, as, as the car sort of uh, is close to you. So overall I'm pretty happy with this product, um, I bought it with the primary purpose of using it as a rear view mirror and the dash cam features are really just a bonus for me. I mean the cameras are only full HD so you know you can get uh, cameras that are much higher resolution uh, but for using it as a rear view mirror this is uh, perfect and I am pretty happy with it.